Tori, the first thing I ever said to you was, do I know you? It was a pompous remark, and I said it almost to be cunning. I don't know if it worked at the time. And I also didn't know how such an awkward question would be the best and most surprising answer from God. Yes, I am supposed to know you. I want to start by thanking you for all the ways you've changed my life already. You're truly the man that I always prayed for. Thank you for believing that I could fly when I didn't yet see my wings. Thank you for intentionally loving me and pursuing me in the most Christ-like way I've ever known. I love the example of true love that Jesus has given us. In the way His love for us is freely given, He has shown us that these vows do not come out of an obligation or to earn each other's love. These vows are promises that I fiercely and unconditionally give to you in the way that I have also received an abundance of unconditional love that you have continually shown me. My sweet baby, today is the day we finally made it. I remember telling my girls how I knew I was going to marry you before we even had our second first kiss. You are so much more of a man than I have ever even dreamed of or imagined my husband would be. I know we always say that God exceeds our expectations, but baby, he really outdid himself when he brought me you. Hello everyone. Uh, first of all, my name is Hal Cohen. I'm father of the bride, of course. It's my privilege and honor to welcome each and every one of you here tonight. It's amazing. Now, to chat. So really, I mean, what do I say to you? I mean, you gotta be the luckiest guy in the world. Tori, no one has ever loved me like you do. You embody 1 Corinthians 13 in our relationship and look like Jesus to me. Who knew Jesus was so attractive? <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Brianna, Tori's best friend and maid of honor. Tori, you're the most kind, selfless person I know. You're one of those friends that every girl wishes to have, but only if you get to experience. Chad, you are one of a kind. I knew you were different. You've brought out a side of Tor I've never seen. You've made her more patient, more carefree, but above all, you've made her the happiest I've ever seen her. Thank you for exceeding every expectation she had in a man and genuinely choosing her every single day. I make this vow to you in front of our family, our friends, and of God. I, Chad Davis Masters, take you, Victoria Lee Cohen, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. I vow to help dress you in the armor of God with each new sunrise. I vow to act like a mirror and reflect your God-given greatness and cherish that greatness well. I vow to surrender my own flesh and desire so that I can fiercely and unconditionally love you. To always look you in the eyes through the lens of Christ, with grace, love, and compassion. Chad and I have known each other for about a third of our lives, and over the years our brotherhood has only grown stronger. Chad has a gift like no one I've ever met. You have this way of making people feel important, making people feel loved. You lift people up. I feel like a giant standing on your shoulders when I'm with you. Over many years I have come to know and love three very different Chads. I've known Chad before Christ, Chad with Christ, and Chad with Christ and Tori. You have changed and loved my best friend in ways I have only seen Christ change and love my best friend Chad. Thank you for waiting for me, fighting for me, and pursuing me in the most Christ-like way. I genuinely cannot wait to start this adventure of life with you. I think the thing I'm most excited about is being able to fully love you under the grace of our Savior and wake up tomorrow beside you as your wife. Love you forever and always. Almost. Miss Masters. <laughs> That's sweet. I vow to create space to capture the sweetness inside our everyday mundane. The dancing in the kitchen, cuddles in the couch, and foot <coughs> rubs even when I don't want to. <laughs> I vow to let the peace of God remain the compass that guides our every step. To walk alongside you, pick up your burdens, and help carry them to the cross. 
I vow to cross out the lies of the enemy and replace them with the truth of God's word. To be the match that ignites your fire for the Lord and the flame that keeps it ablaze. I vow to fight for you and us. I vow to unplug us from the world's distractions and keep us connected to God. I vow to fight the temptations that seek to devour and destroy us. I vow to appreciate your humanity and respect how fearfully and wonderfully different you are than me. Certain things will change your life literally forever and the most transformative moment of my life was the moment you were born. I felt I was a certain person, I had a certain belief system and then you were born and gone. She's beautiful, talented, funny, loving, greatest gift you could ever want. If everyone to raise your glasses up to a long life of love and happiness together, may your children be as big a blessing as you are to us. Couldn't be happier for you, and I for sure could not be more proud. Cheers. People keep asking me if I'm nervous, and I don't know what to tell them. The only thing I am nervous about is making sure I can treat you as well as you treat me. You are the love of my life, blood of my blood, bone of my bone, my sweet and precious gift. And I pray that God will teach me to humbly serve and lead you in our marriage. I love you, Chad. I vow to help you pursue the plans God has for you. I vow to honor our parents. I vow to be the best father our children could ever ask for. I vow to boldly make you feel the love of Christ. I vow to keep adventuring inside the map that is your heart, to close my eyes and let you lead me in this dance of life. I vow to follow you into the battlefield of injustice and fight alongside of you for the children of God, to create a community around us that acts as a spring of life in the middle of a desert. I vow to intimately know you, constantly honor you, and deeply love you forever and always. I vow to ask for forgiveness when I don't want to, and I vow to forgive you when I don't want to. I promise to kiss you even when you have makeup on. I don't like makeup. And lastly, I promise to know you deeply, intentionally, lovingly, as my wife and my best friend forever. By the power vests in me, the state of Florida, as a minister of the gospel, it is my privilege now to pronounce you husband and wife. Chad, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Chad Astor.